Okay then gang, so now we know, hopefully, what a context is and why we'd use it. Now let's create our own context for this application we set up in the first video. So we have these two components, navbar and booklist, and what I'd like to do is use some shared data inside these components and maybe in more components that we create in the future. Now that data is all going to be about the theme of the application. So is it a light theme? Is it a dark theme? What color is the text or the background of things? That kind of stuff. So we'll create a context called theme context to do this. Now I'm going to create a new folder first of all inside source and this will be called contexts. Now I'm doing this so that I can keep all of the different context files in one place in this folder. You do not need to do this. I just want to keep things organized. So then I'll create a new file and I'll call this theme context.js. So inside this file is where we're going to create our theme context. So the first thing we need to do inside this file is to import React. So I'm going to say IMR, the snippet for that. And we also need to import as well create context. This is a function which is going to create a context for us. So I'm going to say export const because ultimately we're going to export this context. I'm going to call this context theme context. You can call it what you will. And then we'll set it equal to create context and invoke that function. So this is going to create a context for us and it's going to be stored in this constant theme context. But at the minute it's not going to do much on its own. We've not defined any data for this context and we've not provided it to the different components. At the minute it's just kind of sitting there doing nothing. So what we're going to do now is create another component which will be a class component and inside that component we're going to have some state and that state will ultimately be the data we want to share between different components. So let's do that first of all. I'm going to say CC and then tab to create a class component. I'll call this theme context provider. You can call it what you will again. I normally call it whatever the context is called and then put provider on the end. Inside here we do want a state. This is going to be the shared data that we want to supply to the different components and we'll have a few different properties inside this state. So first of all, I'll create a property called is light theme and that will be a boolean, either true or false. We'll set it to true to begin with and this is going to determine whether we're using the light theme at the moment or not. So if it's true, then we will use the light theme. If it's false, then we'll use the dark theme instead. And I also want another couple of properties, one for light and one for dark, which are going to be two different objects with different properties describing the colors of those themes. So let me create a property called light, which is an object. And the first property inside this will be called syntax and we'll set that to a color. I'm going to do it at 555, which is kind of like a deepish gray. Uh, so this is going to be for all the text in the app. And I suppose syntax is not the best property name because that's more to do with code, I suppose. But whatever, you get the point. Uh, the other property is going to be UI and that's going to be for different UI elements like buttons or something like that. And we'll set this equal to hash DDD. -D -D. So that's more of a light gray. And then finally, we'll do a third property called BG and that will be the background of different elements. And this will be a lighter gray. So E E E. So for the light theme, we have three different properties. We have BG, UI and syntax. These are very light grays. This is a slightly darker gray for the text. So we also need a dark property, which is going to be the same kind of thing. Make sure you spell dark correctly. And inside we'll do our syntax property first of all. And this time around it's going to be a light gray for the actual text because they're going to be on dark background. So we'll say DDD. And then we need a UI property and that will be 333, which is a dark gray. And then a BG property of 555, still a darkish gray. So we have our state now and this is the data that we want to provide to different components and share between them. Now we have that but we also now need to provide this data to the different components and those components are these two remember. So remember when I said we create a context we have to also create a provider which is a tag that surrounds whichever components we want to be able to use that context. So inside now our theme context file, what we need to do is return a bit of JSX, a template, which is going to contain that theme context provider tag. Now that is provided by the context itself and I'll show you that in a second. So inside here we'll do a tag called theme context and then dot provider like so. 
So whenever we create a context like this, whatever we call it here, we're given this thing, the provider on that context. And this is ultimately the thing that's going to wrap our different components so that the data can be used inside those components. So on the provider tag, we also need to specify a value property. And this value property is going to take in whatever data we want to provide to the components that this wraps. So we want to basically provide an object in here. So let me do another set of curly braces. And then we want to provide whatever properties we have inside the state. So I'm going to use a bit of spread syntax dot 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 and say this dot state. And what that will do is take all of the different properties inside the state right here, these three things, and it will spread them out into this new object that we provide inside this value property. So now this is the data that's going to get provided to the different components that this thing wraps right here. So ultimately, we want this thing to wrap these different components right here. OK, now what I'm going to do, first of all, is save this. And I'm actually going to import the theme context provider into app.js and use it to surround these. So let me just do this. I'm going to create a new tag called theme context provider. Press enter and that's going to auto import this format from this file. And I need to close that off and surround these different tags. So let me copy the closing tag and scoot these in. And then if I save that now, then nothing much is going to happen over here at the minute. In fact, we get this thing component is not defined. Let me go over here. And that's because we've not imported component and we need to do that up here in order to use a class based component. So save that. Nothing's going to happen over here at the minute. In fact, we don't see anything on the page at the minute. But what we need to do now is say, OK, well, inside this theme context provider, we want to output whatever these two things are. Now, when we surround something like this using a component, these are attached to the props of this thing right here, this component. So we can access these inside this file by saying this to refer to this component, which wraps the two children over here. And then we say dot props dot children. And this refers to the children that this component wraps. So these two components. So with us saying this, when we surround the other two components with this component right here, it returns this JSX, which is the provider. And then it takes those other two components from app.js that it surrounds and it places them here. So this is ultimately what it returns. And that's our overall template then. So now this provider is wrapping those children. So if I save this now and come over here, then we still see the app. But if I now go to the React panel, then expand this and expand it again, we see the theme context provider and inside here, the actual context provider. So if I zoom this up, we can see down here the different data inside this provider. So we have the dark property, which is all of this stuff. We have the light property, all of this stuff and is light theme, which is set to true. And I can toggle that right here just so we can test out the different values in the browser later on. OK, so these are the two children components as well, and they should now be able to access data provided to us by this context theme context. So all of this data right here. So we'll see how we can consume that data in those components in the next video.